Hello everyone, Wardfire here, and I thought we would continue with the uh, Old Norse Viking whatever theme, as if we had one going. But anyways, after Northgard, so we have the Banner Saga, and apparently there's our Banner Saga 2 and a Banner Saga 3 as well, but I don't own them. But we have the, fir I have the first one. Uh, so, I figure we continue with that did play a bit of the beginning uh, for one of my down the steam rabbit hole episodes which is temporarily discontinued I'm gonna continue some point someday when I have the time but eh, I thought why not play the entire game because apparently it's a game full of choices and we know I, we all know I love that so haha <laughs> new game Maybe. Story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Sounds great. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing is stopped. The sun. Sounds like a pretty bad thing. Several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. I really cannot pinpoint what it, what am I trying to say? I can't figure out what language they're speaking when it's not English. Anyways, you arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. These portraits show the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemies are red. It is your turn to act. Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. I love this dude who's just like, this Varl just standing here, just like, ah, oh, yes, this is 
This is chill. Uh. Wait, moments. Mo mo bleh, movement. Okay, yeah, yeah. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Jesus, strategy, okay. Collect the tile you want to move to, then click the check mark to confirm. Move your shield banger here to get him into attack range. Target an enemy. Click the tile on which they stand. All ally tiles are blue, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon show the damage it will do to that stat. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you'll now do two less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. This enemy has only five strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to attack his strength and confirm your choice. He's down! Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Turn-based is good. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Now it is your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. By clicking on gold tiles, a character can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemy show how close you'll have to be to be in range. Move your Warhawk into attack range now. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click your Warhawk's tile to access his ability. Clicking your character's tile will bring up all of his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and end turn. Click the purple ability icon. Tempest. The ability description appears in the tooltips below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Select an enemy and then confirm your choice. Pillage! That made quick work of the chief chieftain's bodyguards. When there's only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the chieftain's tile to attack. Click the fist and then the stars above the fist to add willpower. The number of stars available each turn are determined by your exertion stat. So many stats, what? You'll see the damage number go up as you add willpower. Click a star and then the green check mark. Okay. <laughs> Victories! The foes lying dead at your feet, something. To okay, never mind, I guess we're not reading. Plus six renown. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other. Even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. 
Okay. I, chapter one, only the sun has stopped. I did not remember that it was so bam straight into the story here, but cool. Alright, how do you play this game? I don't I I legit do not remember. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. I like that. Eirik, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? It is. I'm just here for the tithe. What do you want? It is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic here, around here, Eirik. What did you have in mind? I didn't exactly agree. It's been worse. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he want exactly? Skalfings. Skalfings. Skalfings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. There's, If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Click the market tent to visit the merchant. Okay. So we apparently have 100 days of supply, 6 renown, we have great morale, 32 varl I guess. It's been 0 days. Cool. Okay, I vaguely remember the story, but I don't remember how to play the game. <laughs> Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Blanches? Okay. Hod, I'm not in the mood today. For... for what? <sighs> Talking to you. The Scalfing's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Hod. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk... To they don't talk to me. Eric, need some help here? I don't have the patience for this. Say nothing. I would say nothing, honestly. Eric overturns his flimsy table, scattering Had's assortment of junk across the ground. Okay. Gods! Eric! Laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the Scalfings? Nobleman, up by these walls. But that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, 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 disappearing for a while until this blows over you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Gunulf, are we done here? Gunulf, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, just bought him while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. No reason. They look good. I'm glad you care. Gunnuf goes off to look at more stalls. Erik, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scalping. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Noble man is a mead hall? Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of those skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Should we have an approach of some sort? Where is this place again? After this, I'm done here. I feel like he would be like, Alright, cool. Done. Done. Do not care about your human squabbles. Not my concern. It's not up to me, my friend. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. Okay, Mead House. You arrive in front of what must be nobleman. Nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgod. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? Let's get over with. You're walking through the front door? I'd rather set this one out. You're walking through the front door? <laughs> I, f I still feel like this Val would just be like, let's get it over with. I just I just want my tithe and go home. Like, I legit do not care about your human squabbles. 
That's the spirit, says Volgod. Alright, here we go. Volgod boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eirik is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scalfings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and medsteins in the process. Stades. I mean, see, he's just, like, chilling there at the door. Like, he, he just chilling here at the door. Like, what? That is one big mead cast thingamajog. Thingamajog, thingamajig. Oh. Cool. I was hoping for more of a fight than this. Look at them, it's gonna be butchery. Okay. Um... How do I... How do I rest? What is stone wall? Plus one armor to adjacent allies and self. Blocks damage to strength and armor for one round. I'll rest. They can't even get the whole way over here, so... Uh... No, okay. I mean, rest? Honestly? Let them come to us. Like... Seriously. Bye. Uh. Nah. Yeah, actually, I didn't know. I don't know what ability he had. Oh no, I don't want to hurt my own people. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Wait, what is his ability? Rally. Gives willpowers to allies at any range. Oh, okay. Sure. That was probably not the right person to do it to. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Stop!
No! I didn't mean for anyone to die. Yes, but... Oh yeah, people are ready for promotion. But someone died, that was not a good thing, I'm guessing. There they are! Gods be damned, I've got to wash off this blood. Erik is looking out of the hall's windows in onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of blood... Oh, sorry, bold reds and blues. <laughs> One banner I know well, Vugnir. Next of Varl Kingship last we spoke. The other flag? Looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pool of entrails still in the Great Hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? No, Eric, I've done enough already. What is it? If you happen to stall our guest on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgod hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. Uh, cool, I guess. When do we get to uh, upgrade our people? I guess we're still not at that stage. Um, cool. But that will be... This episode. Oh, view stats. Oh, never mind. That, that opened my browser window. Um, Alright, but that will, that will be it for the first episode. So thank you all very much for watching and I will see you.